good step ups, let's go over some tips and classic mistakes. Don't you wanna look good naked? So when it comes to doing step ups for more of a glute bias, a few things to focus on. Number one would be make sure that when you're stepping up, you're actually leaning forward a little bit to create more of that stretch in your glutes. And when you're stepping up onto a box or a, a few plates, whatever it is you have available, make sure that you're keeping that shin vertical. So this is going to allow you to bias more of your glutes versus your quads kind of coming into the picture. Your quads are still gonna be there working a little bit, but if we wanna make sure that we are targeting more of the glutes, make sure that you're leaning forward a little bit and keeping that vertical shin angle as you're stepping up. So when you're choosing the height of the step up, this is something where the biggest thing that we wanna make sure that we're not doing is creating a step that's too high, that when we step up, it causes our pelvis to tilt a little bit. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping our pelvis as square as possible during the step up. If the step is too high, that can cause you to kind of come out of that active range and put more stress where we don't want it. So we wanna make sure that we're targeting that glute and keeping tension in our glutes and also keeping our pelvis aligned. So starting with around knee height is a good place to start and then adjusting from there, making sure that your pelvis is staying kind of square as you're stepping up. Also make sure that when you're doing step ups that you have a stable place to step up on. Don't use something that has kind of a soft surface. If you're using a bench, for example, that's gonna be a little bit more unstable and maybe cause you to not be able to get as much output from your glutes as possible. So with a bench, if that's all you have available, maybe think of putting a plate on top of that bench to add a little bit more of a hard surface there, or you can use a uh, stacked plates or a box, you know, anything that you have available that has a hard surface and is super stable. With step ups, we also want to make sure that we're not using a lot of momentum or that we're pushing off of that back foot because that's not the leg that we're trying to work. We're trying to work the leg that is actually stepping up or the foot that's stepping up. So making sure that you can create a lot of tension in there and you're not using that other leg to basically explode up. Something else to think about when you're doing step ups and to help you create more stability and get the most out of your glutes as possible is thinking about holding on to something. So this is not necessarily cheating as long as you don't like hold something and use that to pull yourself up. If you're just lightly holding maybe the, if you're doing cable step ups, for example, you're lightly holding on to the cable machine to give you a little bit more stability so that you don't have to focus on kind of that balance and coordination. And you can really focus on just getting as much out of your glutes as possible. So having a hand support, um, you can, if you're doing dumbbell step ups, for example, either holding on to a bench or holding on to a stick or a foam roller or anything you have available that allows you to have a little bit more stability there so you can focus less on the coordination and the balance and more on getting as much out of your glutes as possible. Also think about making sure that you're controlling the movement. So when you step up and then come back down, make sure that you're not just flopping back down or letting yourself fall back down. You wanna make sure you're controlling that eccentric or that lowering portion as much as possible. And when you're stepping up, just make sure that you're driving through that foot that you're stepping up with. So drive through the glute on the working leg. Don't let that other leg come into the picture. And when you're stepping down, just make sure that you are leading with pushing your hips back and controlling that motion on the way down. So when it comes to implementing step ups for glutes specifically, just make sure that you are focusing on that leaning forward, keeping your shin as vertical as possible, and then controlling on the way down and leading by pushing your hips back on the way down. One of my favorite variations of a glute step up is actually a cable hand supported step up. That's one where you can create a lot of tension in that working leg and also have a little bit of stability so that you can get the most out of the movement. We believe.